I have a special guest with me in the Late Bloomer Garden today, Jack Davis from Epic Yard Farm in Phoenix, Arizona. And check out my vlogs I did with Jack when I visited them in June. And we're going to take a tour of the Late Bloomer Gardens, the first time she's seen it. And we're going to make something out of loofah, so stay tuned. <laughs> much smaller than on the videos. Uh, on the videos I feel like this might be twice as big as it really is but this is truly high density planting. When Jack told me she and her husband would be in Orange County for a week and would be visiting me, knowing what a great cook she is, I wanted her to cook from my garden. It's October and not a lot is harvestable. The drive took two hours and by the time she arrived and toured the garden, we were both starving. And just shove it back down in there. Neither of us had had breakfast. Since veggie scramble is one of her specialties, we went out to forage. Jack had given me EE e. toy onion sets in June, which I planted. These were already oh, pinched off. Okay. I thought you had to have the head of it poking out, no? Um, really? not a whole lot. It was time to separate and replant them, and she was nice enough to do that for me. You have to grind for a while. Yeah, you're going to work your biceps. Pull off the lid. Mm, that looks great. I'm so glad you're here cooking for me. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I'm here. I know. so crooked. Oh, that looks wonderful. Okay, let's eat. This is, uh, it's more than a veggie scramble. This is like a frittata, right? Yeah. This is oh my gosh. Frittata. Let's try this. Mmm. 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 So aromatic. many flavors. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The marjoram is exciting. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. And I taste the coriander. Mmm. Wow. Ooh, a little kick in there. Mmm. I haven't gotten to the kick yet. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to the kick. <laughs> Jack's time with me was limited, 
So we had to move right into lunch. Okay, thank you. Because the next episode of Late Bloomer will be about growing loofah for sponges. The plan was to make a soup with one of my still green loofah. Are they checking? However, upon inspection, she feared all of my green loofahs were too mature for eating. I love those little enoki mushrooms. We started calling area specialty food stores. Do you have any loofah or luffa? No, you don't carry that, like ever? In produce, yeah, yeah, I want to I eat it fresh. All right, bye. That's okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha, no problem, thank you. Okay, three down and three to go? <clears throat> Is it bad? That's well, bad, it's just bad great love traffic. 13 miles? Uh-huh. Let's see where it is. Hollywood? Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, only if we have to. I'm asking if you carry the vegetable called lupa, sugua. When we struck out, I cut one lupa, hoping for no, the best. All right. Cut it. See what we got. Oh, that's not a good sound. Oh, that's a crunchy sound. That's that's the fiber. Ah. Shoot. I don't feel like it. No good, right? No, nope, we got the fiber. It's it's formed. Okay. Backup plan. <laughs> Crispy melon soup. <laughs> I had harvested my last three golden crispy melons earlier in the morning, and we had talked about using those as a replacement. Oh, it smells so good. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. So we may have a soup after all. <laughs> It'll be a delicious one. So these are the fish flakes, right? Yep, the red ones are the fish flakes. Okay. She had found a great Taiwanese recipe and picked up the ingredients from a Japanese grocer in Orange County on her way up. And this is the seaweed? Yep. Cool. So the fish flakes, we'll have to strain them out. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put it in the water first and mm -hmm. let it infuse. Actually, they kind of let it steep, that way it keeps the soup clear, not cloudy. Similar color and in similar shape of pieces. We'll just pretend it's lufa, <laughs> except it'll be sweet. Yeah. This is a perfect fall soup, like a late summer, early fall soup. It does. It's so those are the ginger. enoki, those are the enoki mushrooms uh, with garlic and ginger and olive oil, right? I don't remember if it's, I think enoki is the white, I get them confused. And then I just put salt and pepper to season to draw the flavor from the mushroom. And then we'll put the broth in with the uh, melon. We'll put the melon in to saute first and then we'll put the broth in to let it cook. Now this is the golden crispy melon and you're just going to saute this for a minute? For a minute to soften up the, the melon flesh. Oh, it's nice you can smell the melon from it. So it has a little sweetness, but the crunchiness from the melon and uh, kind of marinate in this mushroom will make it really tasty. And the last one to add is Mmm, wow. We'll let this marinate for a little longer, maybe another five to ten minutes. Pretty color. Isn't aren't they gorgeous? Mm -hmm. It's 
very mild. I think we'll have to eat the ingredients to decide whether it's good. Oh, okay. Because the broth is so-so? Yeah, the broth is very, very mild. You can't just... No, you shouldn't. You should, you should put a teaspoon of water or a tablespoon of water. <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah. Mmm. That looks as good as anything you would see in a restaurant. Okay. You be the judge. Mmm. Is it good? It's a quality vegetable soup with melon. Very good. Tea. Look at the tea. <laughs> Good. It's, it still has a tiny bit of the melon sweetness, but mm -hmm. it's definitely blended in with the vegetables. Mmm. That tastes like it would really help your throat. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. The broth is good. Wow, we did it. <laughs> she has to come back again and stay a few days. Not five hours, but <laughs> <laughs> become the traveling chef. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, she's working on a cookbook, so this could very well wind up mm -hmm. in it. <laughs> For sure. Mm. I think you know what? I think this would be better than the Luca. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. Mm. Jack just pointed out that the melon and the lufa are in the same family. So that makes perfect sense that we would substitute them. Yeah. <laughs> because they're all cucurbits, right? Mm -hmm. Melon, cucumber, squash, melon. cucumber, yes. yeah. And the lufa is part of the cucumber family. So it's all the same. Yeah, they're all the same, especially when they're just immature, still young. Right, yeah. perfect substitution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I have 22, Loop was up here and they're all too far gone to cook, as we found out. <laughs> all right, she is off. She's got to get back to Phoenix and get back to the Epic Yard Farm garden, right? That's right. Right. So she's going to come back and see me again real soon. Yes. So check out our vlogs from Phoenix and um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, <laughs> day of cooking. Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Cooking adventure. <laughs> Come back and see me real soon. Yes, for sure. All right.